Hi, this is Aaron Zola with Zolotech.com and today we're going to go ahead and uh, take a look at the Capsule Rebel from Switch Easy. Um, I know there's been some videos on YouTube before with it, some great reviews by a couple different guys. And uh, we thought we'd take a look at one too here. So, this is the Capsule Rebel, um, which what is it? it's the uh, Rebel Arctic. Um, I kind of liked it a little bit better than some of the other colors. comes in this nice package with the chrome lining. Now previously, I've been using just this slip case. Uh, some cheap thing I got off eBay. Works nicely, but it doesn't offer much protection. I'm not a big fan of screen protectors, just because I've had both the original iPhone and this one, and never had a scratch on it. Seems pretty durable, but we'll go ahead and give it a shot anyway. So we'll take that out and just leave it there for now. So let's go ahead and open this up. We'll take a look. Okay. So you pretty much, if you've seen any of the videos online, you know it comes with some pretty nice things compared to some of the others. Wow, it's not really much salvaging this package, but uh, <laughs> oh well. There we go. So. Break these little. Uh, there we go. So we have this little box. We'll check that out. And here's the case. And we'll set. We'll just set this aside. So here's the case. It's got that transparency to it. Here, I dropped something. Okay, so I dropped something here, picked it up, and fell out of the bottom. It's a squeegee. I'm putting the screen cover on. Comes with a microfiber cloth. So we'll go ahead and pull this, pull this stuff out and see what else they give us. That's nice. So they give you two screen protectors. That's one. Here's the other. Okay, so here's your user manual. Just tells you how to put it in, top to bottom. And then this is just nice packaging details there. And here's your case. So we'll go ahead and take the spine off it. And this is a pretty sturdy feeling. I don't have anything else on the iPhone, so here's this plastic spine. Nice clear look. Good fingerprints all over, but it's part of the deal. So there's the other thing. It's kind of like a, it definitely isn't going to collect any lint. It's not a real sticky, it's not a real sticky uh, silicone. It's more of like a protective silicone. You can see where they did the uh, uh, injection moldings, and they actually warn you about that on their website. Now this case is uh, $24.95 on their site, uh, switcheasy.com. They didn't send this to me, I had to pay for it, so I figured I'd give it a shot. So let me just wipe down the, the face of this a little bit, the back. It's, it's pretty clean, I cleaned it up before the video. And let's try and put this in here. Now, the inside of this is uh, definitely nicely molded, there isn't any uh, jagged edges or anything. I'm not that particular. Uh, some others are. I'm not. I don't. I mean, I have a few scratches on my iPhone. I don't like them, so that's why I got this. If you, I don't know if you can see that, but on the there's a lot of scratches on the Apple logo. And on the top, I've actually dropped this about three or four times uh, with no protection on it, and it's it's withstood it. So I decided it was time to get a case because it just drops way too often. So. We'll slide that in here. And we'll work this over the bottom. Okay, you kind of have to. There we go. Let's see. Alright. So that's pretty nice. Um, let's see. Yeah, check that out. Now, one thing I forgot to do before we go any further is look through this little. And because I know there's a, a plug in the bottom of this. And again, I drop it. Okay, guys, so 
I had to stop the video for a second, uh, dropped it, and then the camera went haywire, so fix that. So basically, we just opened this box. Uh, inside it, you get a nice dock connector. Works in a universal dock, just so it supports your, uh, you know, with your case. I don't have the case together. We'll check out how that fits. This is uh, what's the what's the iPhone stand in it? It's pretty nice. I don't know if I use it, but it's pretty nice. Nice little add-on. Uh, it comes with this little uh, protector for the bottom as well. So we'll go ahead and put that in too, and then we'll snap the spine onto it. So we can kind of give you a look at the whole package. What the heck? Oh, had it the wrong way. Okay, so there it is. Now you can see the speakers are showing. It's pretty nice. Now that's before we put the spine on. Let's see how it looks with the spine. So we go top to bottom, just like that. And we kind of bend that down into place. Still has not snapped over. There we go. Oh, that's a, that's pretty nice. Feel. Oh, sorry about that. So, <laughs> all right then. There we go. So, you know, you can see the screen's all smudged, and I don't know if you can see that, but so here's the top of it. You know, nice access to the, the on off or on off. You know, hold button, whatever you want to call it. Uh, on the side, you can see, here we have the switch. It's pretty easy to access. It'll be nice, actually, not to bump it anymore. I bumped it a lot. Uh, on the bottom, you can see the, uh, the different speaker halls there. and It's nice to have this cover. Now, it doesn't seem to actually match up to it. I don't know if that's just how I have the case on, or, but it seems to fit okay. It's better protection than I had before, so... Let's see the back here. Now it is pushing up against the black iPhone a little bit. It is nice to see the Apple logo, but it is pushing up against it. And you can see the camera holes nicely aligned also. Um, and that's pretty much it. Um, there isn't a whole lot more to it, obviously. It's just a case, but it seems to be pretty durable. You know, I wouldn't be afraid to, to drop it. It definitely offers some nice protection here. Oops, I don't even have that on right. There we go. It offers some nice protection around this, so if you want to just put it face down. I usually don't put it face down, I put it this way. And that takes care of most of the things here. I mean, it's going to take the brunt of it on this spine. There's no, you know, there's no reason to put it either way unless you just don't want to damage this case. You know, it's nice and, nice and sturdy. It doesn't really add a whole lot of bulk to the phone. It does make it a little bit thinner, but it, I think it'll be easier to get in and out of your pocket. And once I put that screen protector... Now, some of you might not like this on the, the Arctic case because it is see-through. You can see these little uh, flashing here from the injection process. Um, but it, overall, it looks pretty good. The rocker buttons feel nice. Um, I've never, you know, had a, had a protector on there, like I said. But, um, you know, that's, that's it. That's pretty much it. I'll go ahead and put the sp screen protector on. Now, the one thing I wanted to see... Oh yeah, that dock connector will look nice, work nice. If you have a universal dock, that'll definitely work. Now the only place this might be an issue is if you have um, something you have to slide the iPhone or iPod into for a car adapter. I have one in one of my cars, so I won't be able to use it with this case on, and I don't want to keep taking it on and off. So, But it, I guess it's worth it to get around something like that. But um, definitely check it out at switcheasy.com. There's also uh, a couple other stores you can get it at. It's me, Morpheus. Uh, Carlos always advertises mygearstore.com. Uh, I've never gotten anything from there, but I did find that the shipping at uh, Switch Easy is, is only like $3 as compared to the other place, which is about 7 So you may want to consider, if you're looking at this, get it at uh, Switch Easy's website. It came like in three days uh, from California. I'm in New York. Uh, it came really quickly, so it's definitely worth the $3 they charge. Um, if you uh, are in for an iPhone case, this is definitely a, a nice one to get. We'll be doing a few more probably uh, in the near future, uh, but definitely worth checking out. 
Uh, please visit my website as well, www.zolotech.com, and uh, we'll see you later.